<laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to Beach to Bush Outdoors. Me and Jason are out here tonight camping up near the Goulburn. We're gonna do a bit of trout fishing this weekend. Say good day, Jace. Hey guys, how's it going? Yeah, the plan for tonight is just to basically cut off a bit of wood, have a steak dinner, and then we're uh, we're gonna call it pretty early and um, get up real early tomorrow, see if we can get a fish or two for lunch. The spot we're at tonight is an absolute ripper. I'll show, I'm probably gonna show you a few clips of the view anyway but it's uh west facing as well so essentially straight out there is where the sun's gonna go down so we're gonna have uh me and jace will have a nice romantic dinner tonight um this is me set up for the weekend got the 80 series camp kitchen going we've um because we are on a rock can't peg anything down and uh the awnings already tried to do one backflip uh, that's resulted in this nice bend so we've uh yeah filled those bags with a few rocks and that'll uh keep the awning together for now we'll probably pack it up overnight though so it doesn't do a backflip bit windy up here got the fire going just blocked it off with some of the logs that we've collected just to keep the fire actually pumping and not blow out but sun's setting and looking good What's up guys? Good morning. We're uh we've woken up about six o'clock to uh get cracking on the day. We're gonna um pack out our stuff pretty early today and go hit the river. It's a little bit chilly at the moment, but we've woken up to an unreal view again. So the moon's actually out. So we're just doing our dishes that we didn't do last night and uh gonna get some bacon and eggs going and then we'll get cracking on the day. Guess you are to touch his eyeball with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Look at the colours on him. That is sick. This is my new mod to the 80 series. <laughs> He's boy. <laughs> my antenna, bro. What the hell? This um. It's actually boosts your UHF like double as far. You just Extra put game. a bird on there and he yells out whatever you want to say. <laughs> Plus 10 BBI. Stop it! Oi! Oi. <laughs> Stop it! Oi! Stop it. <laughs> he's going to peck it. Yeah, he yeah, would. He would. It. He's going to arc it. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> no! Stop <laughs> it! <laughs> so, as for what we're actually doing today, guys, we're um, heading towards the Golden River. Um, the Golden's quite a big bit of river, so I have caught trout out of there before. But we're kind of hoping to do a bit of wading, so we're going to look um, on the map at all the streams that we cross on the way there. See if we can find ourselves a nice sized stream to actually jump in that'll sort of be knee to waist deep and have a flick for some uh, little trout in there. But We'll see how we go actually finding something like that. And if not, we'll just head straight to the Goulburn and uh, might not be able to wade as along it as much, but we might be able to just catch some off the bank or walk along the bank somewhere. So yeah, we're uh, almost packed up camp now. Got um, Just got to get the swags done up, throw the kitchen in, and then we'll be on the road. All right, we've rocked up at our first uh, spot for the day. So we're actually on the Acheron at the moment so we're gonna check that out um and this actually looks pretty good that's not too bad 
when you're trying to find rivers to wade, you have got to find that balance of you can't have it too deep because yeah. you're up to your neck, and at the same time, if it's too small, then you're casting over each other. The one issue we're finding here, guys, it's a little bit dirty, so it is good if you can actually see the trout following your lure and stuff. Because half the time when you trout fishing, you like you try one lure, they'll follow, follow, but not take it, and then you switch, can... switch until you find what they're actually attacking. Oh, we changed their mind. We're gonna have a quick flick at this river, but not actually get in the water. So we got to set up our rods at some point anyway, which we probably should have done last night. So we'll go set them up. Um, that way we're ready at the next spot and we'll just see if we get a trout right at this spot here. So Jace has actually just reminded me that uh, he's never caught a fish before, which blew me away when we went a few weeks ago surf fishing. And me and the other bloke we were with both caught a fish and Jace didn't. So he still is fishless. So today we're even more determined to, uh, to get, get him his first fish. No real hits here, guys. So we're gonna probably move on to the next spot. Next spot, Jace. Yep. One more under the under the Go for it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys could see that on camera, but I'm pretty sure Jason just uh <laughs> just banged straight into the bridge. <laughs> so he's still learning the ropes, but that's all right. All right, we're at spot number two for the day, guys. We're actually still on the Acheron, but further along, it looked a little bit clearer, and this was sort of just too good of a spot to pass up to have a little flick. So we'll see how we go here. If we get any luck, we'll pop the waders on and this will be where we sort of start. Jace has learnt very quickly. Uh, no, it's a fish. The, the fun no, 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 it's a really short yeah, fish. The fun of uh, trout fishing, which is when you're starting out, you get snagged a lot it's and it's just a part of it. So we gave that spot another crack, um, similar to the last one. The viz was better, but not great. We know that my dad was catching fish in the gold the other week, so. We're gonna continue on and head up there instead. Um, but that river did look like it was weightable, so we could even come back here later if we can't find anything good at the Goulburn. But yeah, we'll keep going. We're at spot number three for the day, guys. We're actually now on the Rubicon River. This looks really promising. It's uh, fairly clear and it's a nice size for sort of two of us to fish and wade along. Um, we're sort of only just off the highway, which I really prefer getting proper out in the bush, sort of finding a river there, because I, I just find with trout, the more remote you are, I mean, the more abundant they are because they haven't been fished out. Um, but still, where the Rubicon River, you can follow sort of into Rubicon and into the bush. So might start here. We may still go to the gold bin, but we'll see how we go. This is my, uh, my trout fish and get up. <laughs> it's a bit... There's a lot of straps going on. going on now that I've got a camera as well. This is what you call all the gear, no idea. <laughs> if, I, if I don't come home with a fish, it's uh, it's not good. <laughs> Basically just getting dressed up for nothing. We decided we are going to get in wade this bit of the Rubicon. So we'll just give it a go for maybe, I don't know, an hour. We'll try and get like half a K to a K upstream. If we hit an obstacle where we can't get past, that's all right. We'll just come back. But yeah, we're still thinking... Give this a go, head to the Goulburn later. It's still only, it's only 10.30. So <laughs> we've got so much of the day uh, and we're in no hurry. So Jace is, uh, Jace doesn't have waders. The water is icy. Like this is coming straight off the mountains. Uh, it actually, it hurts your feet, it's doesn't it? It's a bit numbing, yeah. It's like, it's yeah, it's not just, all that's cold. Like it's, it, it's very painful. So you've just got to slowly adjust to it. So we're just taking our time getting in. How's it feeling? <laughs> adapt. What is it? Adapt. Survive, Survive adapt. adapt, overcome. Overcome. Weird. It's moving quick here. I'm going to walk up a bit more. Yeah, this whole middle section's cooked. What are you going for? I think I'll go. There's a little rainbow lure in there. So yeah, guys, we've, um, haven't had, what have we probably walked? 200 meters. Yeah, maybe 500 meters of river, which is a fair bit when the current's pushing yeah. against you pretty quickly. 
and we're um we i haven't had a follow haven't seen a trout yet to be honest so we're gonna um try swapping up the lures probably walk another couple of hundred meters and see how we go if not move on to the next spot but i'm thinking i've been using a little spinner and this is my i call this my lucky lure normally because i've caught a bunch of little brown trout on it but i've done that in waters not as fast flowing as this and not quite as deep it's real shallow it's always a lot of little trout so i might try something a little bit bigger a little repeller kind of looks like a little baby rainbow trout so um we'll give that a go and see if we have any more luck you're right No, no, no! <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, I knew I didn't have him hooked good. Oh, dude. He saw me and that's what happened. I got close. I tried to walk him to the bank and he, I got so close that he freaked and jumped out the water. I'm guessing you guys saw me drop that fish. Uh, <laughs> it's not going to be in as good quality as the rest of the video because I've had to, we've been walking for so long that the battery's drained on uh, 4K. I think I've got it in 1080, but oh, that is shattering. Me and Jace, this is our third spot we've tried. Um, we literally got to there and it was really hard to get through and we almost stopped We've been walking for like an hour and this is the second lure we've tried at this spot uh, along this river We went up into the bushes and made it our way into here and we came to this absolutely beautiful spot And yeah about three four casts in got onto that trout Shattering but that's given us a bit of enthusiasm. I don't think we we're gonna turn around from here. I don't know if we'll be doing that anymore. <laughs> that was pretty promising. Yes, so anyway, that was on the uh, the little rappeller lure. You probably can't see it from there, but the one I showed you earlier. So we might pop Jace on a little rappeller as well if he doesn't get any luck on the, um, the Tassie Devil soon. So anyway, we'll keep going. So to uh, follow the run of luck we're having after losing that fish on the lure that was finally working. I've gone and put it up in a tree up there. So <laughs> that's what you get for being an absolute rookie. Uh, it snapped off, unfortunately, as I was trying to get it down and I went and had a look and there's just no way I can get it down. So. With this setup without the waders in this temperature, like yeah. it sucked at first. You get used to it. But I need something with tread. Yeah. No, we, um, you don't need waders and stuff like this to go trout fishing, guys. It's uh, I, I've just I've done it many times without. And how'd you find it, Jace? Like cold at oh, first. I was harsh at first, yeah. yeah. But, but you, your body adjusts. Yeah, you get used to it. I mean, if it was the middle of winter, no way. But and if you did it enough, it yeah. warrants buying the waders. Yeah, too. yeah. I mean, what I think these waders about eighty bucks, so it's a, it's a worthwhile investment. Bit of but, a creature yeah. comfort. But anyway, we uh, it's just sort of finishing up at our third spot, having a little drink. After dropping that trout, bit of, went on a bit of a bad run. <laughs> I had two, two lures lost to trees, uh, a few other lures issues and stuff like that. Um, I am by no means a casting expert. I'm pretty shocking out to be honest. I know that overhead casting is safer bet direction wise and length wise, but that's where height comes into it. Like when you cast side on, you will always stay low. So that's why when you cast overhead, you can end up in a tree, which is what happened to me twice. Yeah, um, the fish aren't in the tree, mate. Yeah, but whereas side on, yeah, you'll keep it lower, but I find there's a lot more room for error. Or that, that's just me. Like I said, I'm not good at it. Um, so I just need more practice and then we'll be laughing. But anyway, we're gonna, um, we're gonna walk back along the road from here because it's uh, gonna be a lot quicker. Um, and then we're gonna have a look at the map, decide if we wanna go further into the Rubicon or Maybe I, I think we'll probably head back out to the Golden because realistically we fished this for about two hours, yeah, more good. maybe, and we've had we had one one big hit, but nothing else. So not not even any other follows. So we'll go try the Golden, um, try our luck. I, I've been reading on Facebook pages that people have been killing up there lately. So we'll see how we go. All right. So we think I've spotted. It's weird. It's got white claws, but I think it's either a freshwater cray or a really big yabby. I don't know much about them to be honest, so I'm just hoping if you grab it from the back, it can't bite you. Oh, it's really deep, dude. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to get down to it without filling my waders with water. 
Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill my waders. I swear he was just here. We need like a pair of tongs. <laughs> sea creatures we've seen today <laughs> and that did end up being all the sea creatures we saw that day unfortunately that's fishing if you guys saw my video from a couple of weeks ago from Walhalla there were trout everywhere we caught so many fish uh, in like and we only fished for about an hour that day hour and a half maybe with this most recent trip we fished I reckon like six to eight hours we actually did try going to another spot we went to the Goulburn um, which I'll show a few clips of here, but same thing, absolutely nothing. The gold is so high at the moment that we just couldn't walk any of the bank. So we kind of only had one little spot. We found a little boat ramp that we could fish from and just couldn't get to much of the river. So kind of need a boat down there at the moment, to be honest. Land-based fishing is a little bit tricky. Anyway, like I said, that's fishing. Um, unfortunately, it had to happen when Jace was coming and I wanted to get him his first fish. But stay tuned, next week, dropping a video uh, we'll be going to one of our favorite spots in Gippsland doing a, bit of, doing a bit of surf fishing and yeah see if Jace can get himself a salmon or something from there which would be an awesome first fish to catch I still wanted to post today's video even though we didn't really catch anything because you know still practicing learning from every video yeah if you liked what you saw please still leave a like comment tell me what I can do better um, still learning so much from this stuff so yeah and subscribe if you want to see our next video and jace maybe getting his first fish all right see you guys